the, the whole thing is taking a while. Or it seems to be. So what about other realms? Are like England and France. Um, surely they don't have partition laws. I'm sure the partition law is something that's fairly specific to Ireland, is it? They're all partitioned? Really? Okay. Well, I guess they didn't often have many, many crowns, did they? I suppose England had the French crown for a while. Yeah, it's interesting. Knight89, thank you for the follow. So, Tony Troubles. As High King, I've been obliged to attend the local jousting tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. Oh, it's one of these. My vassal, Earl Paul, suddenly walks up to me and pushes me straight into the horse water troughs, prompting everyone around to burst into laughter. Um, okay, I guess I can laugh it off and spend some prestige, or I can... Uh, he can... Oh, it has happened, I spend it anyway. <laughs> Becomes my rival. I guess it was kind of funny. I have thrown so many people in water troughs in this game, so... <laughs> I'm going to go, I guess it was kind of funny. What does that do to his opinion? of? It doesn't even change a bit. Not a bit. Fishing net weavers was constructed. Excellent. Uh, was there anything in particular I was aiming for? I guess we're waiting to get some more cash to upgrade something in Dublin, eh? I do like building things. So we were working on this one, yeah? We should build also... I'll just pause until I miss... Uh, all this sort of stuff. Outposts? What's going to bring in cash? Cash is always good. Farms. Military camps. Barracks. I don't have a barrack. Let's let's do a... Let's construct a farm. It's cheap. I like cheap stuff. Sebastian183. This game is a drug. Yeah, it is. It is. I, I mean, I, I like this one. I like it more than CK2. I don't know, this game's got more character, I think, or more humorous, silly stuff, which I really appreciate in games. Okay, Big Grey Rat has created the Cadet Branch. Hmm. It's interesting, actually. The partition being different, or slightly different, for, for most uh, countries. Um, I quite like that. It gives you something interesting to, to play with every every time. There are a lot of dwarfs. I don't know if this is just the way things have worked out, but there do seem to be a high percentage of dwarfs in the game as characters. I didn't play a huge amount of CK2. I, I played, I don't know, time runs away with you, so maybe I did play a couple of hundred hours. It'll be on my Steam profile. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so far I am enjoying this more. Uh, maybe it's because I'm streaming this and I'm naming the, the family after you guys in chat. I don't know. That certainly makes a difference. Oh, thanks for the follow, by the way. We are pregnant again. And we can have another perk. Uh, King's Guard. Four extra knights. Peacemaker. I just want to go down to get Gallant, actually, at this point. Gallant will be really nice. Peace acceptance plus ten. Hoping we don't have to fight too much. I might change. I mean, that's locked until reset the perks. It would gain a lot of stress. I don't really want to do that because I like this. So I could change to stewardship. Uh, we are building stuff. Or I could change to intrigue. Yeah, do you know what? I might start that. Once we've got gallant, I might start that. There was a lot of DLC for CK2. Um, I dare say there'd be plenty for this. I, mean, I don't know what Paradox are like. Earl Paul has proven himself highly capable, especially in discreet matters. There's some projects I'd like to undertake in the earldom of... Okay, the Inner Isles, is that? Inner Islands? With your blessing, of course. Take the reins. Encouraged improvements and gains opinion. Vassals shouldn't be taking such liberties. Ah, uh, go on, go on, go on. Encouraged improvements, development growth. Go on then, I'll, I'll let him do it. I mean, I hate the guy, and he hates me, but it's fine. Prince Bishop. He's not my Prince Bishop, is he? No, that's fine. What's my spy master doing? Oh, hang on, I could do with a court position. Have I recruited anyone? 
thought I recruited someone with really high learning. Didn't I? There's a 14. No, I thought I had. Well, evidently not. Right then, who is available? My aunt is available. My mother got married. My wife is spoken for. Cousin and sister-in-law, courtier, nephew and knight. Oh, we've got a nephew here. Um, he's a rational villain. He has no land. We could find him a spouse. Oh, have we got... Oh, I could put the... What's the... Um, is it physician? Oh, we can find any physician. I won't have all three, will it? We do have one. She's French. She's 40. 40 is maybe a little bit old. Maybe just having a good learning score will do. I mean, not... I don't know. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be a female, but... Uh, Lover's Pox. Ooh. I think we'll leave that one alone. These aren't the best things, are they? Let's, um, let's not worry about that for him, but let's find him. Is he a member of my family? He is. Right, let's find someone. Was Robust one? What are other good traits to find and marry into? Oh, that's a good, nice one. Saxon with uh, comely and robust. I've got them sorted by sort by learning, sort by prestige gain. Try that one. I still think that's a really good one there, actually. Do I have a son? I think I have a son. Let's close that a sec. No, we haven't got this set. Let's set this. You can be, um... Yeah, you can be Marshall. Change focus? They might struggle with the mark. Okay, go for learning then. Choose focus. Put someone with high learning into the role. Oh, they have a chance of learning, yeah. I thought if we got one to start with. I mean, I don't know if I necessarily need it at the moment. Right, let's find you a spouse. Yeah, let's find that, because... I'm thinking you are three. Oh, that's going to be 13 years. It's going to be 24. That's that's pushing my luck a little bit there. This princess sounds good, though. I would very much like to get that. Still 24. Nice bit of... That looks pretty good, okay. We're going to get that. Yep. Let's let's uh, send that proposal. And also, I was looking for my knight. I don't know. I got sidetracked completely. Um, court. There was a knight I was looking for. I was actually trying to marry someone to find a good doctor, wasn't I? Let's find him a spouse. He is, he is 17. Five years. That's fine. Let's make that arrangement. Get more good breeding in the family. Go for it. Don't want them the same age unless you want an army of kids. It's a risk, isn't it? They don't all have to survive, of course. I have been known to maybe bump off one or two of my own people. My brother is betrothed. My niece is seeing someone. My sister is busy. My cousin. Oh, God. Is there anyone? My son and play heir, and my cousin, and we just married her to someone. My niece. Wait, that'll do. Find a spouse. Um, well, I mean, there is the chance of that, but no. Let's get rid of that. We'll just go with massive learning, shall we? Oh, matrilineal. Of course, we have to have that on. Lord Mayor of... Wow, that... Have I still got a filter? That changes... Oh, no, that's fine. 70... 78? Okay, we're going to have to go down this list a little bit, I think. 
Holy crap, there are a lot of old people here. Content and patient. Not that that particularly matters, but... This Norwegian dude. Compassionate. Generous. Wrathful. It's not bad. Hmm. They go up with age. I think we might have one there. I think we'll go with that and see if he goes up with age. He doesn't massively hate me, so... We'll appoint him as a doctor. You can come to the court. Excellent. Right. One more. Grant appoint as court physician. Cheap court physician. That's what we like. We don't like paying out money. Doesn't like me very much. Do we have anyone being swayed at the moment? Who are we swaying? We're swaying the bishop. Do we need to sway the bishop? He's giving me... He's giving me all the taxes, so no. Let's sway the court physician. <laughs> he should like me a lot more than that, considering the deal he's just got. What's the point of having over three sons? Uh, well, a couple of spares in case it goes horribly wrong. Sorry, I'm on pause. Let's move that on. Alliance formed with Queen Elizabeth. Excellent. Well, that was a bonus I wasn't really paying much attention to. A scheme at court. The voice of Todd is trying is scheming. Shall we throw the voice of Todd in jail? I've just haven't I just married him off to someone really useful? Um throw him in jail. If I let the traitor be known. He goes free. <clears throat> well, I don't think that it matters too much if my mother dies. I don't know. So, anyway, Scotland. What's Scotland up to? They don't currently... Have I just read that right? The Kingdom of Scotland. King Richard. No, he does He does have a big army. I clicked on something I shouldn't have done there. Right then, my poor son. Oh, God, he doesn't look well. Jotun Mike has fallen ill with consumption. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by his bedside, yet he might survive. <laughs> uh, be cautious. Do no more than what is necessary. He's gained aggravated wound for a year. Well, that's not too bad then. He's got consumption, which is problematic, but we have a spare. He has a, we have a spare, so it might be absolutely fine. Uh, we, Davy, nice timing. You've just joined the family. Welcome aboard. Imagine the first monk to realize he translated celebrate as celibate. Yes, caused a load of trouble for people down the ages. <laughs> um, yes, spare, spare children are always good to have. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. A few leeches and a mustard poultice, and you'll be right as rain. Okay, we've got enough material. Yep, see it done. I'll take that. And also, my council. We've got... Uh, where's the duchy of... Let's come out of that sec. Is it a two... I can't actually see it, but it must be, right? Oh, no, the isles. There's the isles up there. So... Go and get a claim on that one, please. And I'll try and claim the whole thing at once. Duchy of the Isles. Be nice to have. We'll get our hold on Scotland. But we don't press it all. Because, uh, well, not until Scotland goes to war with someone. Spouse up to the task. I thought I said spouse up the duff then. Some of my counsellors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I'm often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to Peter now when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. What's she good at? Not very much. 
unfortunately. What about my Archbishop? Is he any good at learning? He's terrible. Okay, actually. Yeah, go and, go and teach the Archbishop. For 15 years. Oh, actually, this doesn't seem to be a, a particular penalty to anything. I mean, the opinion is going to be nice. Chancellor is always... Is all already excellent. He could do with better um, that, but... Oh, go on, I'll, go, I'll do the Archbishop then. Studying and learning. Learning plus three. Yeah, go on, because that is, that is a terrible low learning score. You want to go Marshall first? Okay, let's do that then. Weeb of the less. Assuming you're going to survive. We'll set you off a Marshall education. And we shall find you... Someone who can... Change that. Oh, I'll see what that is in a minute. Who have we got who's going to teach you how to be an excellent fighter? I can teach you how to be an excellent fighter. Look, aggressive attacker. I don't know if these, these commander traits, do these pass on to kids? I've got some good stuff. Brave, gregarious, arrogant. Apart from gluttonous. Go on then, I'll teach you myself. See how that works. We have lost a spy master, but that's fine because I happen to have... I mean, this guy absolutely hates me. But if I give him a seat on the council, that gets rid of 40, so it's only minus 37. Um, do I have any others? I did have a couple. He is the best. I mean, having someone at minus 37 is not good, right? So they can learn commander traits? Okay, that's, that's pretty handy then. Not the rightful liege. Yeah, that is a problem. And a foreign culture group. Having said that, I mean, no, I'm not doing that. He's, he's likely to die. Okay, it's time to get marrying again. Who have we got? A comp we've got a competent physician. Don't suppose he's learned. No, he's a mastermind philosopher. Wow. Okay. With that learning skill, I don't know. I mean, she's betrothed, um, which means that she'll bugger off. So no, let's let's leave that as it is. So anyone, I want someone who we can marry. This princess is married to a dwarf. Who have we got? We're we going back through all this again, are we? Could recruit a guest. Actually, the guests are crap. I guess I could just ask someone to come to the court, couldn't I? Where's the character finder thing? Find character. So, uh, all, but inside diplomatic range. Marital status... Single, maybe? So this is searching this. So we're looking for this. Wow. A 29? So if I did to invite to court, which you will not accept. So let me bring that open again. Oops. So it's searched by that. Is there a thing that says that we can tick invite to court or not on this? Your last king had eight girls in a row. I think one of my kings had just had, he was married to a French princess and they just had loads of daughters. Uh, adult. Yeah, it's got to be adult. Okay. Let's go, uh, let's go unmarried then. Okay, let's do it from there so I don't lose the thing. Uh, none of these will invite to court. She might. Except they won't. Why? Base reluctance. Hmm. Well, uh, I mean, I can set... I need a spy master. It's, it, you can't go without a spy master. 
It's dangerous. I could put Wobbly Biz. Here's my nephew. He is... He might have too much reason. No, he's got no claim, so that's okay. Right, let's go to him. <laughs> Who does at least like me. And he has the intricate web weaver, so that might help. And he's going to get better at this stuff, hopefully. So let's put him on discovering secrets, because there's that there's loads of secrets. We'll see if we work this out. On the job learning. Let's see if this works. As long as we have someone who doesn't hate my guts. Hmm. We have a stack of money. Let's go and see what we can upgrade. I can go for the port again. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to build these docks up as much as I can because as expensive as it is, it's, it's kind of nice. We hold these bits. Oh, we can have a new holding there. Maybe I'll save up the 400. Oh, it's only going to be a few months. We've got cash coming in really nicely now. Claim on the county of... No, let's not worry about that. I've also got... Do I have land up here? No, I lost this bit, didn't I? Uh, keep looking, keep looking. You'll find something. I guess I could send him abroad. Or I could put him on supporting schemes. So we're trying to get... Who are we trying to get to like us? We're trying to get him to like us, the doctor. Uh, let's have a look. New holding... We'll go with a castle. Whilst we work this over. Is he the Duke? Oh, it's not created. That's fine then. Hey, we've got another one born. Not mine this time. It's uh, it's a cousin, but we get to choose a name. Marrying a 29 intrigue person gives you plus 21 intrigue with that gallantry perk. That sounds like quite a lot. Uh, but seeing as you've just... Um, who's this? Turned up? Yeah, go on then. Subcommander. <laughs> Welcome to the family. By the way, if anyone wants to be named, here we go again. Just speak up in chat and I'll pick you. Because I think we've, we must have, I mean, the family's so big now, we must have everyone named after um, people. We must have. Oh, we haven't had a Piranha Man. Have we had a Piranha Man for a bit? Can't see. Have we had a Piranha Man? Hang on. Oh, I never get, I never get to the point. No one lives long enough to get uh, that next level spent. Such a shame. This is going to be a mess, isn't it? We had a load in there. I can't remember when we last had a Piranha Man, though. There's an Aimless, though, there. Mm. It's going back a bit. There was a King Piranha Man the second. I remember him. Right, how about Piranha Man? Unless there's, we've got any more. Jobbery? Is that uh, J-O-B-R-U-L or R-U-I? It's the colour of the font. Are oh, you are king of Norway at the moment, Piranha Man, that's true. Jobbery. Okay, we'll go with that one. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I use a d um, dark mode on Twitch chat, so some of the coloured fonts look really sort of glary on it. It's kind of weird. Cheers, thank you very much. And welcome, son. It is... It is. You are my son. Touring the backwaters. A good king visits his lessers occasionally. Oh, there's a party? Oh, we can go to the party. So we can go to the backwaters to see what's going on, or we can go to the party. I don't care about Earl Paul, because he's going to die soon. Uh, extensive feudal oversight. I like the look of that. Yeah, let's go and do that. We don't need to go partying. Cool. Oh, hang on. We've got... Yeah, we've got more kids to suddenly find. 
an interest for. Oh no! No! I've got new air now. This is why we have lots of kids. So Jotun Mike is dead. Never mind, there'll be another one along in 10 minutes. An opportunity to sway this guy, yes. I mean, it's only my doctor, so it's not... Uh... That went wrong. Bastard. Never trust the odds in this game. Poor old Jotun Mike. Anyway, we've got this latest character, uh, Jobbery. We shall have... What was Jotun Mike? I think... I want an intrigue education on someone, because my player heir is now Weeb of the Left, who's going to... Oh, okay. He's learning a eh? education. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I need some more titles to give away when uh, when I die. That was a shame, because I'm I set him up to be an intrigue character, whereas this is possible. Can I change this? I can, right. We'll go for Intrigue from now on, because he's setting off quite well. Yeah, what is this deal with Piranha Man at the moment? Hang on a minute. Oh, it's Dutchies. I thought Norway had collapsed. It's Piranha Man's son, so Piranha Man is dead? Here's the son of Jotun Mike. Really? Well, he must be. Yeah. Um. Hmm. He was deposed? Which one am I looking at? Is it one of these? Was it a brother? Betrothed. Where does it say deposed? Where have I missed it? His father is still alive. That's his father. That's the guy I adopted into the dynasty. So, hang on. Have I clicked on the wrong thing? How do we know? How, do, how can you tell that Piranha Man being deposed. His mother was the dynasty. That's true. Yeah, she was the dynasty. Um, but what happened to Piranha Man? I'm sure it was Piranha Man of Norway, wasn't it? What have I got on here? Realms. Have we got in England again? The voice of Todd. Wait, hang on. What? How, what? When did all this happen? I can look at the title history. Yeah, let's have a look at that. So we click on that, and then, um, is this where it says, line of succession? How do we tell, our oh, title history there. So, we had King Piranaman, my uncle. Died from the complications of flagellation. Well, serves him right. He shouldn't have been flagellating, should he? So, and then that went, so England, right, so that, whoa, things are different again. Okay, I, I totally missed this. So England is now held by the voice of Todd. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And that was installed by faction demand, right? So yeah, he was, he was deposed exactly as you said. Interesting. Which breaks up one massive alliance which is could have been problematic um i propose an alliance can we will he accept uh off to join war personal can we not do this don't want to murder him he has lots of claims on my land which is which is i am the primary heir Ooh, interesting now is the time to murder him. Absolutely. 100%. Now is the time to murder him. Sorry, Tom. It's happening. Quickly switch my spy master onto support schemes. We'll take this slow. 
Who's the primary heir to Norway then? Ah, uh, somebody else. Okay. 